Hello everyone, my name is Kyoko Marumo Suzuki, Head of the Science and Technology Office Tokyo, Embassy of Switzerland in Japan. Today, I am with Professor Takaaki Kajita, Japanese physicist and Nobel laureate, known for his neutrino experiments at the Kamio Kande and Super Kamio Kande facilities. Today, we will learn more about the next generation neutrino experiment facility, Hyper Kamio Kande. Thank you very much, Professor Kazita, for being with us today. Thank you. Could you start by explaining to us the significance of the Hyper Kamio Kande facility to the international science community? Okay, um, first of all, um, Hyper Kamio Kande is the world's largest neutrino facility that can observe solar neutrinos, neutrinos from supernova explosion, and neutrinos produced by accelerators. Therefore, well, le let me say one more thing. Well, if the facility is larger, then you can observe more neutrinos. Therefore, in general, larger facility is better. Therefore, Hyper Kamio Kande is really a significant facility for the world, world neutrino community to study more on neutrinos. So, we were interested why this facility is to be hosted in Japan. So, oh, thank you for this question. Uh, first of all, I think uh, the Japanese community has been contributing a lot to the neutrino physics and, and astrophysics in the last, say, 30 or 40 years. And therefore, I think it's natural to have next generation of contribution to the neutrino community worldwide. Furthermore, there's a JPAC accelerator facility that can produce neutrinos. And the beam line is already there. And therefore, if we produce the hyper kamiokan facility, um, the facility can be exposed to the neutrino beam. So these are the reasons for the uh, hyper kamiokan facility in Japan. So is it fair to say that Japan is uh, quite well advanced in this area? Well, Japan has been contributing to the neutrino um, physics, but well, more importantly, uh, we'd like to work together with the international collaboration uh, collaborators. And since we are from Switzerland, could you also share with us a little bit on how Switzerland is expected to contribute to the Hyper Kamio Kande project? Well, thank you for this question. Well, the uh, uh, Switzerland people have been contributing to the uh, T2K experiment, and that is the uh, experiment producing neutrinos at JPAC and observing neutrinos in Super Kamio Kande, present generation experiment. And therefore, they have many expertise. Therefore, we hope that they can contribute to the next generation experiment, Hyper Kamio Kande, with their expertise. In particular, data analysis, and detector hardware and so on. So we, we, we expect a lot from the uh, um, Switzerland neutrino group. Thank you very much, Professor Kazuta, for your time. Thank you.